Hartshorn, Oklahoma. Hartshorn, pronounced Hartshorn, is a city in Pittsburgh County, Oklahoma, United States. It is the second largest city in the county. The population was 2,125 at the 2010 census. The community was named for Dr. Charles Hartshorn, a wealthy investor from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, who was attracted by the potential profits off Redby coal deposits in the area. The present day city of Hartshorn began as a coal mining community about 1850. Coal mine operators in Indian Territory recruited European immigrants to work the mines. The first workers were probably English and Irish, but other ethnic groups soon joined them. These included Italians and Eastern Europeans. Like many other such communities, this was a company town, built very close to the mine, with rudimentary houses and a company store. A post office opened here on March 5, 1850. Jones Academy was established southwest of Hartshorn in 1881. The Choctaw and Railway, CC and R, line, acquired by the town, was incorporated in 1887, and began building a line between Worcester and South McAllister. In 1894, the CC and R was reorganized and renamed the Choctaw, Oklahoma and Gulf Railroad, CO and G, in 1894. The Worcester, South McAllister line was completed in 1900 and also linked to Wilburton, Alderson, and Hartshorn. In 1902, the Chicago, Rock Island and Pacific Railway gained control of the C.O.N.G. In 1904 an electric interurban began service from McAllister to Hartshorn. The Holy Rosary Church, complete with a rectory, a convent and a parochial school, was built in 1895 by Russian and other Eastern European immigrants. Other churches constructed before the 20th century were, Baptist, Methodist, Christian, Presbyterian, and Episcopal. The St. Cyril and Methodius Russian Orthodox Greek Catholic Church remains a landmark. Completed in 1916, it replaced an earlier 1897 version that immigrants from Russia and other Eastern European countries constructed. The St. Cyril and Methodius Church had been owned by the STS. Cyril Methodius Orthodox Church Incorporated on March 20, 2016. A man named Bill Melanson filed a quit claim deed in the Pittsburgh County Clerk's Office, transferring ownership of the property to Melanson. The quit claim deed had been signed by Bill Oneski, a church member, who Melanson claimed was a church trustee. Melanin also presented a special warranty deed dated in 2010, by Bill Oneski, Tanya Oneski and Foy Ledbetter, identified as successor trustees of the church. A group of church members first learned about the alleged sale soon afterward when they found strangers on and inside the property. They filed suit in district court. The case came before Judge James Bland in April, 2016. Judge Bland issued a restraining order to bar Melanson, his agents and representatives from coming on or within of the property, or removing anything or making any changes before Bland revisited the case in June 2010. An out-of-court settlement between the church members before the date set by the judge resulted in dismissal of the case and a deed signed by Mellon in transferring ownership back to the church. The community incorporated into Buxie County of the Choctaw Nation by order of the U.S. District Court, Central District, Indian Territory, on March 1, 1900. Hartshorn became part of Pittsburgh County at statehood on November 16, 1907. Hartshorn is located at 34.845198. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which is land and, or 3.60 percent, is water. The city is located approximately east of McAllister, Oklahoma on U.S. Highway 270. As of the census of 2010, there were 2,125 people, 850 households, and 551 families residing in the city. The population density was 614.5 people per square mile, 233.2 per square kilometer. There were 991 housing units at an average density of 291.6 per square mile, 112.5 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 65.9% white, 2.5% African American, 20.3% Native American, 0.20% Asian. 0.10% Pacific Islander, 1.1% from other races, and 9.7% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 3.6% of the population. There were 850 households out of which 35.8% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 
43.4% were married couples living together, 14.6% had a female householder with no husband present, and 35.2% were non-families. 31.0% of all households were made up of individuals and 35.8% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.47 and the average family size was 3.06. In the city, the population was spread out with 34.3% under the age of 18, 8.0% from 18 to 24, 23.7% from 25 to 44. 23.6% from 45 to 64, and 19.5% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 37.7 years. For every 100 females, there were 89.2 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 83.7 males. The median income for a household in the city was $21,078, and the median income for a family was $26,650. Males had a median income of $25,705 versus $18,603 for females. The per capita income for the city was $13,179. About 18.6% of families and 26.3% of the population were below the poverty line, including 33.0% of those under age 18 and 17.5% of those age 65 or over. Two miles northeast of Hartshorn is Jones Academy, a public boarding school for Native Americans with proof of their tribal heritage. Many tribal students come from the Choctaw Nation, whose territory encompasses Pittsburgh County. The junior high slash high school students attend the Hartshorn Public Schools, while Jones Academy has its own elementary. The Hartshorn Public School system operates an elementary school, a junior high, and a high school. The city also has four Head Start centers. Hartshorn Public Library is located in downtown Hartshorn. The mayor of Hartshorn announced her retirement and resigned her position abruptly on September 27, 2016. True Blood's departure was reported by the McAllister News Capital, which had no further information. The same article said that the FBI was investigating the possible misuse of city funds for personal purchases, and that several credit card statements bore the name of the former city clerk, who had either been suspended or resigned. The previous mayor had resigned his position after serving less than five months of his four year term, citing personal reasons. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.